Whoa, I see that you didn't run off. All right, you're still here for this tutorial. That's nice. So this is like the third episode now, and we changed the music a bit. That's right, Cabo Bebop Chibi Mix by the Jazz Hop Cafe. Or Caf. Or Cafe, because it's a... Has, has that thing there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get, let's get programming. Uh, so now we're gonna deal with, probably not input, probably do update. Probably the game state, or probably the input manager. We could do the input manager, but I feel that we don't want to. I don't want to. Kinda wanna go with the game state. Might be easier. Is it, will it be easier? Nah, it won't be easier, but let's do it anyways. Let's get the hard thing out of the way. So, yeah, so game states. So we have different states and games, of course. Hold on. All right, like that. So, just like no difference. But yeah, there's different things for um, game states and stuff. Um, because of course you have your menu state, you have your game over state, and so on. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna try to do that, try to make all those different states. Um, we're gonna have a manager to handle all those states as well. Not static, uh, game state manager. And we're gonna have Will this extend game state? Probably not. Um, we're gonna have a protected protected game state manager. I think I think so. Uh, I think private would be good. Let's call it GSM. Let's call it. Let's make it private because what we can do. There we go. Um, can do is actually have the game state manager here, GSM, and this is actually a public abstract class. So yeah, and we're gonna have this, and we're gonna have start GSM. Ooh, yeah, that's right. What is this? Okay, we're gonna do that for now, for a little bit, just so we can do this. Um, we're gonna have an update, right? Oh wait, we don't need that. Public abstract. Public abstract. Uh, void and we have a render. And every render is going to have a graphics object. Uh, 2D, my bad. Uh, let's just make that sure. Graphics 2D. Okay, and then we're going to actually have right here public abstract void oops void input 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 and we're gonna have that have different things actually let's go ahead and actually make those classes the um let's put in utils mouse handler and we also need a, a key handler all right cool so we have those two and that's it for now for these two. And then if you go back to game panel, you have that here. Mouse handler, um, call it mouse, and then the key handler, and call it key. Um, and then we actually need to put that in here. So mouse, key, and then here as well. Oops. Mouse and then key. Then we actually have to make those and we put that in the init class. So we have um, mouse is equal to new mouse handler. Then key is equal to new key handler. And then we're just going to make those private up here. Private variables. Private global variables. Um, mouse handler, mouse, and then private key handler, key, just like that. Awesome. Dandy. Handy dandy. All right, so in the game state, uh, we're going to have that as well. So mouse handler, mouse, 
and key handler if I can there you go key nice all right and I think that's it for the game state no, no, abstract class don't think we need anything else I might but I think this is it and do we have to actually extend that hmm mm. I don't think so because why would the game state manager ever need that don't think it will but it does need um does need a crap a public void updates and it does need a public void render or, or input because um, why not um mouse goes first and then key handler And public void. Um, actually, maybe not every state needs the. Actually, they probably do. Never mind. And we also need this type of graphics 2D and G. So, yeah. And graphics 2D. Um, so, yeah. It's basically, we're, we're kind of extending it, but we don't need to but I feel like we should for some reason but it makes like it's just no we don't need it I don't think we do anyways so yeah we have that um, now we need to figure out how to handle um, different states so there's probably like five different states I can think of that we might need um, so are we gonna put that in a stack or an array list I can see it being in a stack, you know, because the um, menu uh, needs to be popped off before we actually go into the, the actual game state, the actual um, play state, I guess. Um, however, once we have like a, like the pause button, like when you click, click escape during the play state, you go to another state, right? And so I want that, I want the play state to be like, um, like the, the opacity, no. Yeah, I still, I kind of want the the play state to be visible during the the like the GUI menu state, for example. Let's just call it the the in-game menu state. And so, I want that to be visible um, during the in-game menu state, the play state. So we might have an array list, um, or just a simple array. Uh, our queue. No, probably not. Or we can just keep it on the stack, you know? We can probably do that, just keep it on the stack. But no, we're trying to... Because then we have to pop it off, pop it pop it back in, pop it off, pop it in. Because we're trying to, like, we're trying to go through the um, different data types, I guess. So we do have to do an array list. Or an array. Mm, I think an array list. And in here we're going to have game states. So... Um, what we call this, just states, I guess. Uh, we're not going to declare it now, but we're going to make this private. Um, so, yeah. Should we declare it now? I wonder, maybe not. States is equal to new array list um, and new new game state. And um, We're gonna go states dot add, and then we're gonna have to add a, a, um, a game state, and we're just gonna call it play state. And then, of course, since it's gonna be um, extended, we're gonna do that. And here, we're gonna do states dot um, get. Well, depends. Uh, we go int i is equal to zero or whatever. i is less than states dot size. Yeah, okay. I plus plus and then states dot get i dot update. There we go. So, whoop, oh snap. We do that. Okay. So we're going to do that in each method, basically. Uh, this is going to be the input. So we do input. Then we need 
give it the mouse and key. And then we're gonna do render and send in G in there. Then we actually need to make the the um, play state class in a second. But we're gonna ignore that for now and we're gonna go back into the update. And we're gonna go into the init and go here, GSM, or not GSM. Oh yeah, GSM is equal to new game state manager. Game state manager. And I don't think it needs anything in the constructor, so I'm gonna do private game state manager GSM. Down here, go GSM dot update and GSM dot input and we're gonna put the mouse in there and put the key in there so that uh, the uh, the other states can use the mouse and, and key. Uh, oops dot render and we're gonna put G in there. So yeah that's it for that. Game panel is done, I think, officially done. So yeah, let's go ahead and make the first state. Play state. Play state and let's see if it goes away. Oh no, we have this. But yeah, we need to extend game state. So that's our abstract class there. And in the constructor it states that we need a couple things. So we need a constructor, right? And we need that constructor to to basically go game state manager gsm, and we just do super dot game uh, super dot super just super. <laughs> um, do we? Right? Oh yeah, super gsm. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So, and we still need to add a couple of the abstract methods in. And so we have that. And then we need the input. Oh wait, we need to do the, the, the we need to do it properly. Okay, so graphics 2D G, uh, go away. We go mouse handler, and then and then we go key handler. There we go, and that should be fine. Awesome. So yeah, and uh, we have to get input done so you can actually visualize what's going on, but. We'll do that next tutorial because right now it's 13 minutes only 13 minutes so yeah let's just quickly make sure that that's being handled correctly so yeah actually we can draw something so that we can draw something we can draw um let's draw some rectangle and we have to give it x position let's give it 100 by 100 and let's make the width and height to be 200 by 200 and uh, this is all in pixels by the way <laughs> didn't think about that so um set color can you set the color of this and uh, we can actually do this color dot and we can actually choose from a list different colors let's go with red because red and blue why not um let's go ahead and i think it's shift shift f10 i actually don't know yeah it's shift f10 so we're gonna do that and there we go, we got a red rectangle right there. And uh, we actually do rect, um, do fill rect. We get a, why did I do that? I don't need to do that. Shift to 10, and we got like a better rectangle there. Cool. And yeah, an input, we can make that rectangle move. And actually let's make this like 64, because that's might be easier to move around. Yeah, awesome. And, and by the way, if you didn't know, uh, zero, 00 and the XY is actually right here. So if we put that to zero, 00, for example, you'll be on the 
on the top top left corner right there so yeah that's where zero zero is so yeah i think we're done i think that's it um in the next video we're gonna make that rectangle move so with the with, with input handling so yeah hope hope to see you there in the next video hopefully if it comes out goodbye